In this quick tutorial video, I'll be sharing how to unzip and also download backing tracks. A lot of times these are zipped together because the files tend to be a lot. We don't tend to download just one backing track or accompaniment track. We download like a whole unit or a whole series of them. So get ready to see how you can do this on your computer. So the first thing you're going to do is go to wherever you have um, downloaded your zip folder. Um, it probably isn't going to be in a videos folder. I just did this because there's not a lot in this particular folder. Um, and so I'm using one from the uh, from the Creating Beats on the Move product in my store just to kind of show you. So here's a zip folder. And what I can do is I can do this one of two ways. I can click on it and in Windows, this is going to bring up the Extract Tools and I can press Extract All. Or if I was to right click on this and it's not showing it on the screen right now, but it drops down a whole bunch of options and Extract All happens to be one of them. So I'm going to press Extract All and what you're not seeing on screen is it's going to say select a destination and extract the files. You can put this anywhere that you want on your device um, and you can even have it show the extracted files when they're complete. Um, and so I'm just going to show you here and you'll notice that it comes up with a version of the same one right here. And if I click on that, then it has the folder and it has all of the backing tracks. Now, what I can do from here is I can save them into my Google Drive. I can um, move them to different locations, but I do like having them in one spot. Now, what if you saved it in your Google Drive? In Google Drive on the browser, yes, you can unzip folders. However, you need a special um, extension for that. So it might be a little bit harder. Um, for instance, like I do have it in my drive, but I wanted to make sure it was on my computer as well. Um, so there's a few things that we want to keep in mind. One, I think with stuff like this, it's better to have two copies, one on a hard drive somewhere and then one on whatever device you're going to be using this in your studio. Um, again, really easy to upload things into Google Drive or whatever studio management system you use. Um, and so once it's on your computer, it's it's easy to get it pretty mobile from there. Um, that's about all for this video. If you're wondering about creating beats on the move, I'm going to include a link in the description. Um, and then that way you can check that out if that's something you're interested in. Or you can definitely check out my video on how to share these with students because that's the next step. Um, we either need to use these only in lesson or if we have permission, how do we share them with our students? I look forward to seeing you in that video.